Hey moguls, it's Dr. T here, and I'm so happy to be connecting with you to share another upgrade today that's just going to help you absolutely up level, flow, and these kind of upgrades are so amazing because they're worth millions of dollars in our actual bank account, and they're worth the ability to feel like our life is a multi-million dollar reality. So stay tuned, let's make this upgrade together and really enjoy this up leveling. All right. So the focus we're having today is all about this concept of fear of success that goes on. And some of you may have that and recognize it. And some of you may be thinking like, how could that be? Of course we want success and you may not fully relate to it, but either way, there's absolutely benefit benefits to all of you from this upgrade. So one of the challenges with fear of success is that while we're striving, and we all know that that's something that we do, we're all striving towards something, depending on what your role in life is, your position, what you're focused on, building yourself up, your partnership, your family, your company, whatever it is, and whatever role you play, you're trying to move in the direction of greater success. At the same time, if you have recognized that you have fear of success, or maybe you haven't, but you're seeing that right now, it's pretty brutal because you're literally doing all the things that would make you successful. You're literally doing everything that would give you the result. But there's like this way in which you keep re-experiencing the same level of success year after year. And some in some cases, and you don't go forward the way you want at the level that that would make sense for how much smarter you are, how much better you are at things. And in some cases you go backwards. Brutal. So this is really important to understand what's happening to you. And typically with everything I've seen in transforming lives, upgrading my own self, upgrading others, this one is really deep because it has to do with the feeling that success is going to be painful. That because we had to work so hard to get there, and let's get let's face it, some of the work that we've had to do to get success and the strain and the level that various people have to do in the world, and we've all been there, can be absolutely excruciating when we're honest about it. It's like so strenuous on the self. And so we have this connection that says, well, if it takes this much damn effort so long to get me to there, like the whole equation is that if I actually get there and then it's bigger and better, even though that's what we say we want and we do believe that we want that, something underneath us says, well, if this was the equation that took to get there, then more success means more work, which is fascinating because some of us think that what we think or what our program actually is, is that I'm going to work so hard to get there so I don't have to work. But most of us see that most people are in a formula, which is I have to work so hard to get there and then they're in it and then they're just friggin' buried working more and more and more. So that means that we've got work and success linked together too strongly, which I know is going to seem like crazy, but that programming is just programming that somebody made up. If we do this, we'll be successful. Well, all over the world, there are people that are like, the less I work, the more successful I am. And that equates to success. So the truth is we've got the success equation all out of whack and it's completely effing people up. And I know to see like Dr. T, this is what, like, of course it takes hard work. Well, it's only because that's programmed. There are people that the less they do, the more they make. There are people that are programmed so well in their programming that everything they do is completely leveraged. Meaning a little effort gets a lot of outcome. A little effort gets a lot of income. A little effort gets a lot of success. A little income, a little effort gets a lot of wealth. And we all know that's true. So they have a different relationship 
with success. And in fact, when you are watching billionaires and, uh, and engaging with their content or their story, these people are not always talking about, oh my God, I just crushed myself to get there and now I'm on easy street. No, more so they program themselves into a certain way of thinking, which program themselves into a certain material reality. And the more that they program themselves, the less they had to do for the more that they got to create. So more success, less to do, and it's a completely different relationship, a completely different set of programming, which still may seem like no beeping way that can happen. And I'm here to tell you that it's programmed into you one way and it can be programmed into the other way. And we got to keep in mind that in this ridiculous system that we have come up in most of the mass population, unless you had the super wealthy, multi-generationally wealthy um, family where you have the absolute best of the best, the best training, the best reality and the, the immersion into the ease that wealth, uh, the ex wealth experience can be for people. We just got it programmed in and remember our programming for the masses, which this is different on this end now, which is good. But for you understanding the programming of the masses is a slave programming. We're going to put you in this school. We're going to teach you a bunch of beeping stuff that is really, you know, it's important. And yet it has nothing to do with what you're going to have to do in the real world for the most part, very little, right? So instead of teaching us mortgages and, and real estate and moguling and mergers and acquisitions and joint venture partnerships and how to do a little, little bit of effort that creates a lot of value that brings in a lot of resources that you can then use for you and the betterment of our entire human race. It's a different formula. So since the mass population gets the programming to be a slave, you're going to go to the school, you're going to learn a bunch of stuff. Then we're going to pop you out. Uh, we're not going to discuss your purpose. We're not going to, we're not going to teach you the secret tricks. We're going to tell you that you must work hard and we're going to occasionally mention the word job. And because there's not programming to make you into your mogul level self with ease and flow, the slave programming is like, you're going to do this equation. You're going to do it forever. Then you can look forward to retiring. But guess what? If we teach you to retire, you're just going to freaking downgrade and you're going to be a slave looking forward to an escape. But then when you get the escape, you're going to die because you're not productive. And that slave programming has this friggin' equation in it. Hard work equals success rather than smart intentions equals success rather than intentionality equals success rather than programming this. For example, I do a little, it creates a lot and I receive the flow. There's a program. I do a little, it creates a lot and everyone I know receives the flow. We can program whatever we want. It's just programming, but we have been so hardcore programmed as a mass population for slavery. Even though that equation can never ever allow you to be truly ahead and living a life that is of your version of success, your success, your type of productivity, your purpose and living your full potential and fulfillment is so deeply cellular that whenever we're programming people into something else and programming this stuff, it actually hurts here to think about it. It hurts so bad. It's so cellularly deep because most likely this was your family's equation of their grampies and grammies and great grandpa and all the way back in the lineage where everybody was just getting crushed and killing themselves for uh, basically a process that is different than the one that the wealthiest of the wealthiest know. And 
it's just a difference between programming and the willingness to make a shift in your programming. And I could tell you the more it seems like, no way, Dr. T, that's cray cray. Like I, ha- I cannot, I have to work hard. The longer we have in the equation that I have to work hard and working hard, the strenuous thing creates success. The built-in problem is that you'll stay in that equation because you're so, you're literally, you're D, it's now in your DNA. It's oozing around everywhere. It's just manifesting itself. The problem is then the equation, as you go toward what you want, it'll block you because deep down you're like more success equals more work because you've got them tied together. Brutal. So all of your life, I hate to say it, you're doing all of the stuff, but there's already a built-in thing blocking you from a certain level of success because there's a part of you like, I couldn't work anymore if you paid me more. So the success is not, I I want it because I don't want the position I'm in. But in reality, deep down, I'm like, oh, now I'm just going to be having to work more. So why would I... Why would I let that success happen? So we end up as blockers to our own success. It's so brutal. This happening in our mass population hurts. It hurts. I can feel in here how what how that much this is hurting people. So we gotta un we gotta disconnect these. These two don't go together. That is literally not the billionaire equation or the multimillionaire equation. It Because what they will tell you is the more, wherever they came from, the more time went on, they just started, they learned more and more how to, how to do less. That It's a leverage process. I do a little, it creates a lot of value. This is all that matters. And I receive that revenue. I do a little, it creates a lot of value. I receive a lot of revenue. There's the program. Let's internalize that. So fear of success has a lot of components to it. And this is a big, important one. So even though that might seem kind of scary, well, what if I it's not work hard, create success, what is it? It's what we just programmed. I do a little. It creates a lot of value. This is what's true from a physics standpoint anyway, because everything we do does create a lot of value. It's just that we don't typically recognize that. I do a little, it creates a lot of value. I receive a ton of revenue. I do a little, it creates a lot of value. I receive a ton of revenue. Now with that, that is a different equation. And keeping in mind, we may have fears of success. You may because you, your definition of success has this stuff I just described. And it might have a bunch of other gunk in it. That success means this and so, like whatever you've gotten as programming as the storyline for success, um, like success is stressful and success, uh, here's a big one. And this is, unfortunately it can be true, but it's only because of your programming, but that if I'm successful, people will not like me. They will criticize me. They'll leave me. Da, 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 da. It's kind of unfortunate that you want to really know who your friends are, get successful. I think it's the other way around, right? You want to know who your friends are, have something happen. It's, you want to know, you want to know the truth, get successful and you'll see what happens around you. Same time, I could say that's also programming that is in our world because people do get very triggered by other people's success. They throw down, who do you think you are? Blah, blah, blah. So there's that's in there too, that if I'm successful, I won't have this person and this person and my friends and I, I, I don't won't know who I am. And I'll essentially that success, I will lose something. So there's that. we got to get rid of that. These are only two areas of programming that can be in there that are making your fear of success happen. And therefore your success level isn't happening at the level you want, that you want it to. That's just two, but they're huge, right? There's more because there's whatever success means to you. So let's connect to some, what else is there that you might have? Let's think about it. Is there some other storyline you have about success that is getting in the way of your success? What programming is there? Could be, I won't have time to do other things that I want. 
could be uh what are some ones that people oh people will expect things from me uh the now the pressure will really be on all of this is programming from other people's success programming they've given you supposed success programming and it's also because you've seen other people in their success story having a lot of issues or maybe even a lot more issues than they had before and so you've got a storyline programming that says i want success i'm hustling for it and then you've got a block to it but remember those people that you observed struggle the greater success that they've had is also because their programming was off they were probably on the i have to kill myself work hard have success but then all that happened is they remain in that equation and then that success backs up on them and and costs them rather than netting big rois which you have to have the correct programming the most strategic programming more accurately so we got to know what the story is about it and could be you know then i'm trapped um then people are going to want money from me whatever it is because these things can happen but as i've said to clients for years i'd i invite you i'd rather have you have you have the um first world problems as they say of success than not having it and having the third world problem of not having success because there's some discomfort either way but with one you actually are much much closer so like right now if you are someone that's really successful but not feeling successful you're much much closer to your version of success that you actually want and one that you will not block in the future while you're going towards success you won't block your own success so we got to figure out for you what is that version of success and if you can literally just decide what success is to you now we start to pair success with these things we start to program that and now you can have a version of success that you'll actually want to go toward and for the most part i don't think most people are like i have to kill myself and sacrifice myself and crush myself for success or that when i get the success i'm going to be locked in trapped we got to decide what's your version of success not what someone else doing not what's an influencer doing all of this stuff i've completely been there done that where it's like this is the version of success where it's supposed to be and then there's the real one that's the real version of success for me that's what we do for our clients completely getting that understanding that deciding your version of it because whether it is building a small business building a big empire building a family dynasty or just learning a new skill set that you can literally work one hour per week or one hour per day or whatever it is that you want to do and equate it to the results that you want all we have to do is program it okay so now because just like success got programmed with all these crappy things we can program success with the happy things or Repl- let's replace crappy with happy make that upgrade so success is easy success is flowing success comes from leverage success is effortless success is just bringing value i mean imagine something like this here's a perfect example in the transformational work that i've done over the years <clears throat> the truth is we have upgraded people through all kinds of jacked up effed up lower programming that has got in the way of their top level replace that programming and tons of upgrades over the course of these transformational programs tons of programming upgrades replace this with this programming upgrade it at the same time i have done where i am literally doing one upgrade on one piece of programming for someone let's just take this example if we unpaired success and hard work and we paired success and um i do this this different program this one i do a little 
it provides a lot of value, I receive a lot of revenue. A lot of times it's two things, but we're putting three together. That one program alone could be worth, let's just say I wanted to charge $100,000 for it. That one program alone is worth millions to a person and them experiencing a multi-million dollar reality in the way that they get there, in the way that they live there, in the way that it grows and expands. One thing could make a difference. Imagine if somebody was just hustling, working, they could not get to the level they needed to go. But what I found or someone on my team found was this level, was this programming in the way. And we upgraded it. That one piece of value is worth millions. So $100,000 would be nothing for that value to get that program. It's like if I could, it takes a programming methodology, but if I could just literally replace those two inside of you and then this actually begin to manifest itself, express itself instead of this jacked up programming, it's worth millions and millions of dollars. And yet there are literally millions of things we can do for people that we only need to do a little, but it is so valuable that they receive millions in value and over the course of generations, by the way, in this case, and we receive a lot of revenue. There are tons of examples of that, that any person can do because all we have to understand is where we or giving value. Same, another example. If, for example, I found some program running in someone that no one has ever figured out, their therapist, their partner, their mom, dad, their best friends, every coach, mentor they've ever been to, but I find the thing that is the linchpin that is keeping them from being their highest self and living their highest life and whatever, keeping them from being a billionaire, let's just say multimillionaire, billionaire, doing what they love. And that program gets discovered or that reason. There's something in their life. There's something that was not detected or diagnosed properly in their matrix of reality. And that is discovered. Mind-blowingly like helps them understand this is exactly what's in the way. We pick a new set of programming. We replace that. We program it, program it, program until that's completely internalized into the cellular DNA. Just finding something like that, let alone the replacement and the upgrade that like what we're doing right now, it's worth millions of dollars. And then what is that millions of dollars? What is that worth when it keeps making that millions of dollars they make from that keeps making more and more and more and more for generations? It's infinite. And this is not just something that is geared toward being a psychologist, a transformational leader, and doing transformational programs. It is geared toward everyone. Everyone has value that they provide to other people that is being undervalued. And when really looked at for what it is, can allow you to do a little to bring a lot of value and to receive a lot of revenue while the person that you're giving that value to, of course, part of that value is they're receiving tons of value, tons of revenue themselves. So everybody has stuff like this. So we want to unpair hard work and success. And just because there's a world full of influencers telling you, you have to work hard as your main strategy. You got to remember too, those of you that know human design will get what I'm saying. Those of you that don't, Google human design. You can see that on the website, the empirecompany.com and click on human design. Some people are designed that hard work is literally what their design is, but they're only a certain percentage of the population and the other percentages of the population are designed to do it in a different way and create even more value. That's why the people who are the generators or the manifesting generators as their human design are always on your hard work, hard work, hard work. But there's a population of people that have a different design. As an example, I'm a projector, which means that everything for me is putting people on a higher frequency. 
operating on a higher frequency, upgrading people to a higher frequency. And guess what happens when you're on a higher frequency? Everything's easier. Materially, everything's easier. Experientially, it creates the abundance. It creates the success. If you're a manifester, it's done differently. If you're a reflector, it's done differently. So everybody getting the same prescription is not accurate. We got to, and the good news is no matter who we are, no matter what design we are, we program the new programming. And if we're willing to put the new programming in and deal with every aspect of ourselves, oh, it couldn't be that way. It's too easy. No, Dr. T, it's not that way. You got to program it. The more you stay with it through every part of your doubting it, through every part of your poo-pooing it, through every part of your like, I give up on it. You keep programming it the same way you got programmed for the other stuff when you weren't really paying attention and knowing that's what's happening to you. That programming eventually takes over. So we want to do something really powerful ourselves and pair things together in what they, what we want them to be. So clearly the upgrade of today that came through is I do a little, it creates a lot of value. I receive a lot of revenue and so do you which is just implied in that value, but I just want to add that in. Sounds a little um, more poetic. <laughs> I like rhyming. I like rapping. Okay. So we've done a lot today with this upgrade to help us understand what equation we've got going on in our programming and that we can disrupt it, intervene on it, and put a new equation in, a new program. I do a little it creates a lot of value. I receive a lot of revenue and so do you, right? You could be saying that to your client. I do a little, it gives you a lot of value. I receive a lot of revenue and so do you, right? Win, 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 win. And that is a totally different version of success that is available to you. So I invite you to begin to program this and to think about what is your definition of success? Because there's a there's a poetic or a rap that's your t yours too, right? It could be I create flow that gives you dough. <laughs> I get to go, and I get to grow. It could be anything. I could say I get to go wherever I like to go, and I get to grow wherever I like to grow. Whatever we want it to be, we program it. Like one of mine is like success. I just love learning like every moment of every day. I just, just want to be learning and learning and learning and upgrading. It could be I learn, we earn, and what else? And I don't have to get put into an earn. <laughs> there it is, right? At least for a while. Okay, moguls, let's take this upgrade all the way in. I'm really excited for all of you to connect with what are the success programs that are the success stories that don't feel like success that are keeping you from like, it's got you working like a hamster on the hamster wheel towards success, but blocking it. What's that success programming? What's it, what's it telling you? And let's just start to replace it. It'd be awesome for each of you to put a comment that says this is this BS crappy success programming and I'm replacing it with this happy success programming and just put something else in its place. I think that draws a line in the sand with the universe. It stakes a claim, makes a declaration, it puts it into reality, starts to manifest and generate and project it into the world so you can receive it. It puts you in an immersion and it tells the universe you mean business. And it helps the other people that are doing the same thing. So let's make this upgrade together. Let's really be uh, supporting ourselves and each other. And that also helps me know that you're receiving these upgrades and helps me know if they're benefiting you. If there's anything else I can be doing to make it easier and better. And it reinforces that process. And it helps me be that much more motivated also to bring these awesome upgrades to you. And it just gives me a sense like, yes, you're, it's working, you're getting it. Then it just makes me want to do more. Okay. All right, moguls, you are moguling up. I'm so super proud of you. Way to take this upgrade in. Let's internalize it, integrate it, let it elevate us. 
and absolutely change our programming. So our success programming is actually for our version of success. You've done amazingly today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next upgrade. Bye-bye everyone.